Bye everyone. I think, I think it worked. There was nothing new today either. There wasn't any different um, little messages when I opened Facebook. So it was sort of an easy week. I'll just give it a couple of minutes to make sure that you can all see me. Okay. And then while I'm just waiting and while we're all getting here, I'll just show you a couple of things that arrived this week. Uh, they actually arrived yesterday. They were meant to arrive Friday and then it was delayed until Saturday and then it was delayed again until Sunday. But actually UPS don't deliver to me on a Sunday so it came yesterday. And the things that arrived were the um, that seaside set that I was talking about last week. So I've got the dies and the stamps and I've got the foiled paper and the designer series paper. And I waited till now to open it. So I thought we'd just have a quick look together. So this is the blue foils 12 by 12 speciality paper. Hi Jane, nice to see you. Oh, I'm just gonna make a noise, so plug your ears. I was just saying my, um, my seaside set arrived yesterday. I didn't open it, but I'm just going to have a quick peep at it now while we wait for everybody. Okay, that's upside down. It's unusual for it to come and you can't see the, the card stock, but uh, oh, it's gonna be a bit glary, I think. So there are two silver and then two blues. And I think this is Coastal Cabana. Let's just have a quick look. And Knight of Navy and Coastal Cabana. So they're really pretty, very pretty. So, and I saved this really thick chipboard for my album making. I don't make many albums on my Facebook or YouTube page, but I do make a lot um, like memory albums and journals and things. So I maybe ought to start showing you some of those as well. And then this is the designer series paper. And I saw today a little video about how the artists made this. And it was just like a marbling technique. Um, so I'll maybe see if I can find that and share it on my page as well. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that one. So, and let's have a look at the back. Oh, now you can see it's sort of marbling and bubbles and things. I wasn't quite sure what it was going to look like. Uh, you can't always tell from the catalogue, can you? So that's one of each. That's nice. I can see that, um, you know the set, the whale done set? I could see that going with this too. Oh, that's just like the seaside. Um, with the beach and the water. And, yep, I like that. Wow. These are so much prettier than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be pretty, but much prettier. And I don't know if you can tell, it's almost like a canvasy look on here as well. That is nice. So, hi Glenda, how's your trip? I'm just looking at the seaside things and that's where you are, isn't it? So, my, my pack only just arrived yesterday. Oh, wow. I'm going to enjoy playing with this. Uh, I saw, Glenda, your beautiful photographs from yesterday with the starfish and the rock pools. Oh my, I did feel homesick for the seaside. Uh, I've seen some demonstrators as well um, stamp flowers and things on the backs of these uh, and then cut them out so that you've already got a, a pattern on your flowers. Oh, they are pretty. Very nice. And then the stamps. I love this wave. Uh, and then I'll quickly have a, a peep at the dies. Oh, good. I'm glad you're having a nice time. Is it chilly? Oh, I, I saw you had a hat and a coat on. 
on one of the sets of photographs but here it's snowing so if you'd like any snow I could send you some of that Glenda and you could send me some sunshine I think that would be a fair trade <laughs> it is Jane yeah it really is pretty and it always looks nice in the catalogue but when you see it in real life the designer series paper stamping up do a fantastic job uh, Oh, now what I do like are these sentiment ones. See the stitched as well? And that's going to be really nice just to thread a ribbon through. Very pretty. Oh, and even the little birds. Little seagulls there. Okay, well I will be making something with that. What I really love are the colours of these gems. Look at that. Look at the blues and the greens. So nice. Okay, and then I did get something else. Um, where did I put it? I got the iconic dies. Uh, I didn't have those before, and oh, I think I left them downstairs. I'll show you them another one. <laughs> no, you don't want the snow. Okay, okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> okay. One thing I would like you to help me with is these. Now, I showed you them last week. These are the sets that are on, on sale at the moment. They, As a bundle, they always have 10% off, but they've got an extra 10% off, the bundle price. Um, and I don't know which one to use. I haven't got all of them, but I want you to choose during the week which set you want me to use next week on the Facebook Live. I don't have this one, Welcoming Window. I don't have the Watch Cooking. And I don't have the wildcats, but I have everything else. I have the sweet as a peach, the seascape bundle, the quiet meadow, the garden wishes, the hydrangea, the pansy patch, the celebrate sunflowers, beauty of friendship, and the art gallery. I don't have this all squared away one either. So during the week, have a think and see which set you want me to use and we'll make a card with it. It might be a set that you already have or a set that you're looking at um, and thinking, oh, what can you make with that? But if there's something there that really speaks to you, let me know and that's what I'll use next Tuesday. Okay? I'll show you again at the end and um, just to remind you what's on there. But today's card is going to be a card that Janet talked about Oh, I think it was October, November time. And she was saying that she was making lots of Christmas cards for her, um, for her daughter's boyfriend. Um, uh, I think she made an extraordinary amount. Seascape bundle, Jane. Okay, I'll write you down for that one. <laughs> and I'll see how many votes each one gets. And this is the design that she used where you have like, different pieces of designer series paper just as your focal um, area. And you don't need very much designer series paper. I first saw the, um, the whole technique with Mary Nabe and Debbie Henderson. And that was well before Christmas. And then a couple of weeks ago, my silver sister, Diane Inkster, made her cards with this technique too and she showed me how to probably hi Libby how are you I hope it isn't raining near you I hope your trip's still going well yeah that's right Jane she made 75 that's how I knew it was an extraordinary amount um, and she'd made all of those cards using this technique so it's a really quick and simple technique once you've got the cutting sort of down pat now on mine, I'm going to use the free designer series paper from Celebration. I know Celebration's over, but we've all got that designer series paper or other designer series paper that we can use. So I want to make a whole stack of Easter cards. Uh, and so I'm going to use that paper. And as I was saying, last, no, two weeks ago, Diane Inkster showed me how to shuffle all the papers properly. Because when I first started to make it, I ended up and I got like two or three left of the same piece and I wasn't sure how I did it but now I know. Oh, I'm sorry it's still raining Libby. I hope everybody's safe though 
and that your sister's not stuck on the island or anything. You can still all get together, can't you? I do hope so. Okay, so I'm going to also use a cardstock that I rarely reach for. Crushed curry. I love the colour, but my word, I don't get this out very often. I don't think of it to use as a card base, and I should. So I'm going to make my four card bases, because what, what we cut up today will make four cards. So I'm going to get just two pieces. Do you have any of those colours that you know you absolutely love, but you just you just don't seem to reach for for the card bases? I have a couple. The other one I had was Pacific Point, and it's a beautiful blue. But rarely did I remember to use that. Okay, still safe, but the roads are blocked in places. Oh, Libby, you've waited all this time to go out there. Uh, fingers crossed and lots of prayers that everybody can get together still. Okay, so I've got just an um, ordinary size piece of cardstock. I'm going to score it down the middle and cut it lengthwise because I want my cards to open this way. I want them to be like this. So, whoops, so I'm just going to score at five and a half and then turn it round and cut at four and a quarter. There's two card bases. I'm going to do exactly the same again. So score at five and a half. And cut it at four and a quarter. So simple. Okay. And then I've already got my insets. I always have a big pile of these already cut. And they're cut at four by five and a quarter. And because I use them so often, what I'll do is get just a whole pack of my basic white, the thinner card, not the thick one, but I'll get a whole pack and cut the whole pack up. So I need four of those. One, two, three, oops, four. So there for our inserts. Pop that one back. Pop that on one side. Next, I'm going to need my designer series paper. And let me just, this is the one I'm using, the Daffodil Afternoon, just because it matches really nicely with the stamp set I'm using. I want to use this one for my Easter, the Easter Blessings one, with the daffodils, so I thought I'd just choose paper from here. And I have a couple of packs of this, I really do love this. Oh, happy International <laughs> Women's Day to you, Libby. So, we're a strong lot, aren't we, women? You know, we, uh, we're always there for each other. And I think more so than when I look at the guys around us, we're always there to lift each other up and everything. So, thanks for being, thanks for being one of my really good friends, Libby. Okay, so let's choose four. Um, just have a look at these. I need them to be uh, four by five and a quarter. Um, that one's just a bit bigger than four, so I'm going to trim it down to four. Oh, in fact, what I'm going to do is make it five and a quarter first. And that way, if I do need a wider piece, I've still got a wider piece. So, so it's at five and a quarter, and then I'm going to trim it down to four. If you have a paper with an orientation like this, just make sure that you've got it cut so it's portrait way, because our cards are going to be portrait. And should you cut it, you know, the wrong way, you don't want your flowers upside down or laid on the side. So for this card, I'm just being a little bit wary about which way I cut it. I'm choosing the little green hearts. This, this was too busy for me to have with another busy paper. So I'm choosing the hearts, I'm going to cut up five and a quarter. You see my orientation really is going to be this way. So that's going to be at four. I can't believe Libby how fast 
your time over there is going. Um, and by the time you come back, we'll have had a wedding. The wedding is still going ahead. Hi, Janet. We, your ears must have been burning. We were just talking about you. I was saying about the card that I'm making, and you told us at Christmas time that you'd made a whole, a whole hundred or something of these. And uh, Jane's just reminded me it was seventy-five. How you made seventy-five? I, I don't know. <laughs> But it's that same design that you were talking about. And I'd had it in the back of my mind since you were telling us about it and how quickly you made those cards. And so tonight, that's what I'm showing. Okay, I'm just up to cutting the paper. I need four pieces of designer series paper. That's what I've got so far, just two. I do like this daffodilly one with the black on the back. But let me just look, whoops. I can't use this one um, because this is, I think this is my last piece and, and I love that one, so I'm not using that one. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got. Uh, we've got the hearts. I don't, I'm not so keen on that. I don't want the peachy one. I would if I was doing this piece of the daffodils then, and this. Then I would use the peachy one because they've got the peach in. But the what? Oh, oh! Look, a treasure! I've got another piece of that. Ooh! I wonder if we could use that other one. Hmm. No, I'll stick to what I'm doing. Okay, so I need a piece that's four inches on here, and I'm going to use the back as well on this one. So that's the four. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a long time, Libby. As you know, we've waited a long time for this wedding. This is this was the third date, the third year. So four by five and a quarter. Let's make this one five and a quarter. And there we are. We've got all our pieces. And as you know, I have a lot of love it, chop it. Um, techniques that I use where you cut your designer series paper down to a card front size and this is a perfect card front size it's just this is the one I made before you see how that's just perfect so I always have a lot of paper cut to this size so if you do do love it chop it it's perfect for that okay now let me just see I'm going to put them like this Okay, I'm going to put all four together, okay, and I've got the four inch at the top. Uh, let me just see, Janet saying she stamped 75 sentiments, cut a ton of pieces that all matched, and then bought ready-made cards, and it went really fast. Yeah, it, it is a really nice technique for that. Once you've got everything going and cut, it's fast when you come to the assembly line. So, okay. Oh, and Janet, I went to the post office today. Our little post office didn't have the small boxes, but the big post office did. So tomorrow I'll get your parcel ready to mail. And uh, thank you so much for bearing with me yesterday uh, and then work while I worked out how to chop all that paper up to seven by five. But it is all chopped and it's all ready. So thank you again. Okay, so four by five and a quarter. I'm going to put all four pieces in together because the trimmer will go through all four. And I'm going to cut it at two and three quarters. Let me do it, let me do it two pieces at a time. It will cut four, but let me do it two pieces at a time so that you can see exactly and I can show you it twice. So I'm lining it up at two and three quarters. And I'm going to cut it all the way down. Okay, I'm just going to take the smaller piece out and put it on the side. Now this piece, I'm going to turn it round 90 degrees and I'm cutting it at three inches. Oh, let me just put it all nice and straight again. So put it in at three inches. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn it back again and I'm just gonna put it on the side here. So there's our two pieces. Now I'm going back to the narrower piece. Okay. So 
this is how we cut it so it was like portrait style after we cut it I'm going to turn it 90 degrees and I'm going to cut this at two inches let me just move my trimmer over so here we go this is how the card pieces will look okay now I'm going to do exactly the same thing to show you again and I'll cut it with these two pieces so I've got them all level and I'm going to put it in at two and three quarters I'm going to move that smaller piece off to the side this piece I'm just going to turn 90 degrees and I'm going to cut it at three inches and then I'm going to turn it back again so it's the correct orientation and it's in the right place I've got my narrow piece again turning it 90 degrees and I'm going to cut this at two inches just line it up and that's the most difficult part done I can imagine Janet that your stack was like inches high um, let's get rid of the trimmer okay now this is what Diane Ingster showed me how to do how to shuffle them okay so we've got one two three four pieces and that's how I labeled them one two three four now stack number one you put the first piece to the bottom stack number two you put two pieces to the bottom oh here you are <laughs> hi Diane your ears must have been burning too <laughs> I was just saying that I've seen this technique before with Mary Nabe and um, Debbie Henderson and Janet had made it before Christmas. She'd made 75 cards and then I saw your video a couple of weeks ago where you showed how to shuffle it and then it made so much more sense to me. So that's why I was saying your name. So one piece on the first stack, two pieces on the second stack up to number three and three pieces on this stack so one two three okay and then the fourth stack you don't touch you leave it just as it is tell me if I'm doing it right Diane okay so the oopsie so there we are let me put those ones back straight so the first card that is how all the pieces will look on it and as you take your pieces off you can see how your next card is actually going to look. So I have my crushed curry. You learned from Mary Nabe? Okay. I think is her um, blog and everything stamping piece. I think I think that's what it is, stamping piece. Okay, so here's my crushed curry, which as I said earlier, is not a colour I often choose, but it's such a nice it's such a nice golden yellow. Just oh, let me just find a bone folder. So I scrunkled that one up. We don't want a scrunkled card. There we go. That's better. Three and four. Yeah, it's such pretty paper, isn't it, Diane? Uh, I love it. So I do have quite a lot of it. <laughs> Oh, okay, so the first one, I'm going to do all the fronts first and then I'm going to do the um, labels and everything. So the first one, let's find some glue. Uh, let me just see, excuse my reach. Okay. You end up with just a little border all the way around as well. You don't have too much of a border. But because I've made a few of these already, I know sort of roughly where my border's going to be. And you're only going to have about this much. I'm not going to squash it all the way down. I'm just going to hold it there, sort of tack it there until I've just checked. So then I need piece number two. There we go. Might help if I put my glasses on and then I can see. Okay, now I'm going to squish that down because I know top to bottom is just perfect. Okay, number three. 
And once you've done this a couple of times, honestly, it's really intuitive. It gets to be so easy. One, two, three, and then number four. Okay, so that will be your first card front. Each one will be different because we're going to go back to our stacks. And now the second card, that is how your front's going to look. So, oops. So let's put this one on. So I've got two experts on with me tonight. I've got Diane Inkster, who showed me how to do the shuffling part. And then I've got Janet, who made 75 of these cards. So ladies, if, if there's a tip that I'm missing, just let me know. But honestly, it's such a fast and easy little technique. One, two, three, and then number four. Number two, let's get our third one. So this is going to be the front. I love how you don't have to worry whether you've got two pieces the same left at the end or you know, you've know you got a card where you don't like the pieces that go together, they don't match. You just know on this, it's gonna work out every single time. I love this black against the crushed curry. <laughs> Jana, I bet you could do it with your eyes closed. <laughs> so, I think the longest piece is probably stamping all your sentiments. Okay. Three. Janet, you might want to re-watch the beginning of this um, Facebook Live because I showed the beautiful ocean um, stamp sets and papers. I think you are going to fall in love with the papers. So, card number three, last one. Yeah, that paper is just stunning for the. Um, it's like a, there's the foils, and then the designer series paper looks like it was marbled, or and it's got little bubbles in. It's beachy, and uh, you and I have the same affinity for the sea. Okay, last one. See how fast that is just to make a card front. And if you wanted, you could also. Um, make a, an extra layer in there and change the sizes of your paper Oop, I nearly put it on the wrong side then you could change the sizes but truly I, I don't think it needed it I don't think I needed to do another card layer I loved this so much that one there isn't quite straight let me just see if I can take it off oh I think it's a moved a little bit. I'll just make sure that my sentiment goes over here. I don't have it. Oh, just a minute, let's see. I don't have my um, dental floss here. No, I'm, I'm going to make a mess of it if I take it off. So, If I had my dental floss just on my table, I could put the dental floss down and take that off. But what I'll do is make sure I've got a bigger sentiment there. Okay, so, so here's our four card fronts. Let's put them in a line instead, see if you can see all of them that way. So they each look different, but really, really pretty. I like those very, very much. Okay, I'll pop those on one side. And I went through my box and took out some labels that we've pre-cut in different weeks. The only thing I actually went back and cut were a few in the crushed curry, just in case I was going to use them. But I don't even know that I am. I used the, the tags labels, that's all of these. And I think these are from when we were making one of our Christmas cards. Um, hmm, I, 
can't even remember which one it was and one of the Easter cards that we made with this paper remember when we had the three layers of paper going across and I think that's when these were from I've got one from Stitch So Sweetly I think this is from that um, texture touch ones uh, oh good idea to use like a stamping platform yeah this one what's this from is that that hippo and friends I think so so I've got a lot of a lot of different ones to use let me just put these in sizes though because we've got the small tags and a bit larger tag what I really did like was when I made this one I liked the daffodil on there so I'm going to try and use the ones with the daffodil on first Oh, Libby, it's so easy. And, you know, once you know what these sizes are, even if you had scraps, you could cut them out. You don't have to use a four and five, four by five and a quarter inch piece of paper. You could use scraps as well. But isn't it quick and easy? Now, I'm not saying I would like to do 75 like Janet made, but uh, you wouldn't mind making a few. Okay. So I've got my daffodil and I've got it, the, just the single one, I've already got it mounted on a block and I think I'm going to do the same for the insides but I won't do a ton of colouring tonight and I'm going to stamp in basic grey. I was saying a couple of weeks ago how for the flowers I quite like them in a, a softer sort of, um, not a softer shade but just like a softer look. And I think the grey, rather than the black, gives you that. I can't get all of the daffodil on and all of the writing. So I'm just going to, excuse my head if that's all you can see. I'm just going to stamp this over at the left hand side. So I only want a bit of it on, just enough to colour in. And I'm going to make them all as Easter cards, but you could change the sentiment and make them, you know, birthday, get well, all sorts of things. And it's not even one where I'm going to do a ton of colouring. Oh, this is nice, look, this is because you get more of it on there. Oh, that's pretty. I like that side. Let me see if I've got any more of that side in the box. This is the box where I took them all out of. I have, look. Okay. It's always handy just keeping these extra little bits that you've got left. Because you get to a day like today and you can just look through the whole box and take them all out. I think Laurie must still be in um, Palm Springs. I haven't heard from her today. So maybe I'm not going to use my, my little tags there, but hang on, let me just, just take these out. I might just put a little butterfly on one to see, see if I'm going to like this. What have we got here? Let's get, get one of these. I think these are all stuck together. Yep. Let's put that little butterfly on. just in case. I don't know if I'm going to use this one yet, but I'll pop it up there. Right, so that's the end of the grey. Now I'm just going to do all my sentiments. You can see why this took longer for Janet to do for all of hers. <laughs> and I'm going to make them all Easter, so I'm using the same stamp. And I have just inked up my Memento Black this week. You can see it was a bit dry. I've been using it a lot. Uh, pop that on there. Hope it's straight. I will be making more of these cards anyway so I'm not worried if I've got too many here. Oh I do love that one. I just love the size of that. And I don't want it to cover up too much of the paper. But that one where I made a mistake, um, the paper wasn't quite straight, 
That would be perfect for that one, wouldn't it? Now, I don't mind if this writing goes over where the daffodil is. Because I can still colour through it and it looks really nice like that. So we'll see in a moment what I mean. Okay. Oh, I forgot to stamp my insides. Let's go back. Let's just do these ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know that I could manage to make 75. But uh, Janet certainly is a rock star. Right, let me just go back and put a daffodil inside. You could do your envelopes at the same time as well. Remember how we did them last week? Where we did all those envelopes together? Oh, I think I did them on my YouTube. I don't think I did them in Facebook Live. Because I, I was doing little robots last week. So, I don't know if you've seen the new kit. I have shown a couple of pictures of it on the Facebook page. And that's robots as well. Uh, I think it must be like a robot year. They would make such cute birthday cards. And um, my son always loved robots. He loved all the Lego robots. And I, I could imagine that I would have maybe changed them slightly to make invitations for his birthday with them. So, and he could have made his thank you cards with them. I love it when children make thank you cards. And uh, even if they just sign their name or, you know, draw a picture inside. I just love that when you get something like that through the mail. Then you know they've loved it. Okay, so there are insides. Let's quickly colour a few of these in. Um, what have I got here? I think I've got Purposaz or Old, old Olive. I don't think I have blends in Purposaz. So I have Old Olive. And I'm gonna actually I'm gonna do the darker bits first. No, you know what? I'm gonna do the leaves all one colour. So the leaves and the stems just in the screen. You could go over it a couple of times or at the side to make it so that you had you know, different colours on it. But I'm not even gonna do any blending on the leaves. And again, this is something quick to colour in. Janet, did you do any colouring on your labels? Did you just do straight sentiments? I think if I was making that many, I would just be doing straight sentiments. So, yeah, isn't that large tag nice? I'm sure it's from that hippo set. Just let me quickly get it. Um, here we go. Yeah, it's this one, this Hippo and Friends, this larger one. That's what it is. I do like this set. Um, I like it because it's got lots of layering dies and they're all different sort of different shapes. I think it gives you a lot of variety. You don't have to have stamp sets for all of our dies. Sometimes I buy them just for, you know, a particular shape that it's going to make. Especially if it's layering dies. Or some things like the um, like the quiet meadow. Often I won't use the stamps very much, but I will use the dies a lot. Merry Christmas or season's greeting. Yeah. I, I don't think I would have done a picture as well or an image to colour as well as a sentiment. You'll be getting an order for them next year as well I bet. Yeah. You need to start now Janet. <laughs> or do you know remember when we did that Christmas in July? It seems so long ago. But I, I bet you were already making them then. Okay, one, two, three, four. So I'm not doing any more green. And then I've got Daffodil Delight today, I think. Yep, light and dark Daffodil Delight. 
So I'm going to do the whole of the middle. And I only have these because the card that I made at the weekend, I coloured the daffodils in this colour. So it's still, still left over on my desk. just a little bit like this. I'm going to do it on all of them. Not at all artistic I know but it looks so perfect after you colour with the other with the other blend as well when you go over with the light blend. And I used to try and finish just one flower because I thought you know oh they'll dry really quick and then it'd be too late for me to go over and blend but it isn't. And if you left them till the next day, it might be too late. But you've got a, you know, you've got a bit of wiggle room for colouring. Libby, I've mailed a card to uh, a card pack to your house. So I know Alex is home, um, but it's the ones that I've sent to all the team with our challenge on. Oh, I'm going to use the bullet end with our challenge for this month, which was to stamp with a new stamper or somebody who hasn't stamped before. And I've sent two um, two cards. All the pieces that you need for two cards, one for you, one for a friend. And then all you have to do, um, there's little instructions there, little picture. And all you have to do is make the same card as your friend. So they went out yesterday. So maybe one Alex that it's on its way, but that's what it is. And it's in a, a very distinctive envelope. It's in like a creamy colored envelope with red round the borders. So, but it's not important to do before you come home or anything. I just sent every everyone in the team something. So it's got all your little embellishments, all your die cuts. The only thing your new stamper would need um, is something to do a sentiment with. And if you don't have, if she doesn't have any stamps, or if he doesn't have any stamps, they can handwrite on the on the little label. So. So don't worry if you see everybody starting to post the cards that they've made. We'll wait for you. <laughs> I'm just colouring through. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you stamp over the, the petals there because you can still see it. You can still see all of the colouring on the petals and you can still see the sentiment perfectly. Okay, now I'm going to make this little butterfly. I'm going to do him yellow as well. Let's just do a little bit around the bottom and have a darker yellow. And I don't actually know if this is one we're going to put on yet. That's pretty though, I like that little butterfly. I'm going to make this a bit deeper yellow. I'm just going to go back over with my blend. Add a little bit more there. There we go. Okay, so sentiments all done. Let's move these ones. Just going to keep one of those out. Let's put them together. That was really fast. Right. Oh, okay. We got the idea of the four squares from Christmas in July. I loved that class. It was, I didn't feel at all Christmassy, but after that day, you know, when we were all crafting together, it was such a nice time. Uh, I had such a lot of fun and such a lot of laughs. Okay, now let's find that one that I did wonky. I think it's this one, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm gonna sort that one out first. I need some dimensionals and I need to see, here they are, I knew I'd got them out need to see I'm gonna put this big one on look and if that one's on there you can't tell that that's wonky hey <laughs> that saved saved me doing something again 
thanks Janet yeah I enjoyed crafting with you all now we need to make a time for when we're going to do this free crafting session where I just send you the zoom link most people can get together on a weekend or an evening so I'm wondering about the weekend um, if we can maybe do um, like a Saturday or a, a Sunday this weekend that would work for me or even like one night next week I can't do the Tuesday of course but I could do a Monday but Saturday and sun or Sunday would be easiest for me so let me know which day is going to work for all of you and I'll send you a Zoom link and we'll just do our own crafting. I might finish some, well I really need to make a wedding card. So I might do my wedding card. I might finish some of my paper pumpkin, I've got some paper pumpkins left to do. But anything that you're working on. I could put a little poll on the Facebook page for a time. But I. I can do this weekend, Saturday or Sunday, if anybody's free. Oh, that's pretty. Now, if your paper doesn't have an orientation, you can always turn it this way too. I know for this paper it doesn't work, but it's really nice turned landscape too. Let's pop those there. Want to see about this one. Um, I'm thinking to put like both little pieces together. I like it on this black here. Let's do that. I'm just gonna attach it a little bit. Saturday's better for Jane, okay. And Saturday's for Janet. Okay, what sort of time? Um, just bear in mind I'm not in your time zone, but uh, if you know like if early afternoon works for you I could do do that it would just be morning here but that will be fine oops pop those two together it's just a time to sit and chit chat so tell me the time that works best for you okay, I'm gonna pop some of these down the back I do like the the tags when you have a, a color underneath as well or even um, another piece of the same colour card. It doesn't have to be coloured. I'm just going to pop it slightly on an angle like that. I could do with a ribbon. Let me just find my bow tie. Um, what have we got over here? Let me see. I've got seam binding white. Oh, what about this bumblebee? I'm going to do the bumblebee. And let's find some ribbon scissors. Excuse me, stretching over. I'll make a little bow. Early afternoon or late afternoon? Early afternoon, your time. So, um, let's see. If I said two o'clock, your time. Oh, early afternoon for me. Okay. Um, can you do three o'clock, your time? Because I think that's one o'clock, my time. Would three o'clock work? One o'clock my time, three o'clock your time. Okay, let's just cut these. I don't quite know how long I'll need those tails. Let's find a, a glue dot too. I know Libby can't join us because I don't think she took a lot of crafting things away with her to us. But uh, I might be wrong. <laughs> but I don't think you took a load of crafting things, did you? Oh, I don't know. Let me just twiddle that round a bit. Put that there. I don't want it so that it goes over the blessings part. I might have to put another little glue dot and uh, just keep this ribbon down there. Um, let's find, not those scissors, let's just take another glue dot off. Put it under. I'm just going to roll it up a little bit. Put it under my ribbon. I want it to go straight down there so I can see my writing. Because they won't know I'm sending blessings. They won't see the bee. There we go. Okay. 
So one, two, three. No room in the case, no. <laughs> I don't think you would have had time either, Libby, to be crafting. So I think you've got enough things on. Okay, I'm gonna use another one of these big ones because that is my just my favourite today. Pop some of these on. I'm gonna put the insides in and find some embellishments. So I'm going with one o'clock my time, which three o'clock your time, Jane and Janet. Okay. If you have a friend that you would like to invite to craft as well, that's fine. I will send you all a Zoom link, I just need to make one. Let's pop these inside. Stones or something to go on there. So there's number one. Actually, number two, because I took the wrong one. You know, it was so nice and light when I when I started, and it's pitch black already. Oh, is it this weekend that the the clocks change as well? I think it might be. And then next weekend, Anne-Marie arrives, and the following weekend will be the wedding. So, March is turning out to be a lovely month. Crafting with my friends, marrying off my daughter. <laughs> okay. okay, right, let's get some embellishments. Where did I put my box today? Here we are. Is it time change this weekend? I don't know. It, time change would be Sunday, wouldn't it? Um, does anybody else know? It might be this weekend. Because I don't think it's the following... Uh, it's not the weekend we're away for the wedding. Um, mm, I don't know, ladies. Probably it's this weekend. So, have a look, what's these? Uh, holiday rhinestones. There's a few that would be the right colour. The in colour jewels, we've got some of those. Let's see if they were. And then, where's my little pokey tool gone? I had it out earlier because I got my new um, refills, the little putty refills. Mm, I don't see it on the table, so just use my fingers. And then pop those over there. Now these ones, I think this is really pumpkin, isn't it? Pumpkin pie, but they're sort of yellowy. You can't, you can't really see that they're not the right colour. Uh, let's see, let's just pop one down here and I'm going to put two over here. These are all different sizes I think. Oops. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to do is take that smaller one over here and put the one larger one down there. Oops. So there's number one. Let's try a different one. Oh, thank you Libby. It's going to be so nice. Right, daylight savings time begins March the 13th. Thanks, Judy. That's this weekend then, isn't it? Um, so, yeah. So, crafting will be Saturday, 1pm Mountain Time. And then the next day will be daylight savings. So... Okay, so one, two, I'm going to do another one, I don't think I'm going to put anything on this one, I'm going to do this other one, I'm going to put these little, little in colour gems on, oops, oh, let's stick that back on there, and I took it off and the adhesive is still, still on the paper. There we are. Okay. 
I will put a message onto the Facebook page about timings. I love I love this one with the little butterfly. We could put some of the little burnished um, brass butterflies on there as well. But there we go. Let's, so every single one has got the same designer series paper. And yeah, just trying to make it so you can see all four together. So the same paper, just in a different area on your card. Let's just make these lay flat. Let's go over them with a, a bone folder. There we go. So thank you, Janet, for reminding me about this great technique. Thank you, Diane Inkster, for teaching me the shuffling part. And thank you, everybody else, for watching. I think they're bright and cheery, too. So... Oh, Judy, you're really welcome. And if you do have a go at it, put a little picture in on the Facebook page as well, just so we can see what you made. And if you feel as inspired as Janet was to make 75, always put a picture <laughs> of something like that. <laughs> okay, ladies, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you on Saturday for our free Just Get Together and Craft. I'll send out... Um, um, like a, a zoom link and if I put that on Facebook then you can take the link from there I won't send it individually to everybody okay and I'll see you all on Saturday take care everybody have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you soon bye bye bye